everyone, it's Justin again. In our last video, we reviewed how to add and subtract positive integers. Today, we're going to start adding and subtracting negative integers. Like, if I want to buy this yo-yo, it's $12. So it's going to act like a negative number in my wallet. Ooh, I only have $5. Uh, Mom? Mom, can I borrow some money? In today's lesson, you'll learn how to add and subtract negative integers using a number line. Be sure to have your PDF printed for some practice problems, and let's get into it. In our last video, we solved 24 plus 8 using base 10 blocks. Let's take a look at this problem with another familiar tool, the number line. To add or subtract with the number line, start by finding the location of the first number, which is 24 here. We know that numbers get larger as we move to the right on the number line, and adding two positive integers gives us a larger sum. So adding positive 8 means we should move 8 units to the right, landing us at our answer, 32. Notice that when we add a positive integer, we move to the right on the number line. But what would happen if we added negative 8? We could think of the negative sign as telling us to do the opposite. So the plus in our equation tells us to go right, but the negative tells us to do the opposite, which in this case is to go left. So start at 24 and move to the left eight spaces, which brings us to 16. So 24 plus negative eight equals 16. Let's move on to another situation, adding two negative integers. Negative 24 plus negative 8. We just saw that when we added a negative number, we moved to the left. So let's start on the number line at negative 24 and move 8 to the left, giving us negative 32. Great. So far, we've discovered that when we add a negative integer, we move to the left on the number line. Pause the video now to try the practice problems on the PDF using a number line. Let's see how we did. Remember, when we're adding a negative integer, we move left on the number line. For the first problem, 6 plus negative 10, starting at 6 and moving to the left 10, puts us at negative 4. For the second problem, 12 plus negative 3, we start at 12 and move to the left 3, and that puts us at 9. And finally, negative 7 plus negative 4, we start at negative 7 and move to the left 4, and that puts us at negative 11. Great work! Let's review subtraction now. In the last video, we solved 24 minus 8 with base 10 blocks, so let's try it now with the number line. Again, we start at 24 on our number line. We know that numbers get smaller as we move to the left on the number line, and subtracting two positive integers gives us a smaller value. So subtracting positive 8 means we should move 8 units to the left, landing us at our answer, 16. Notice that when we subtract a positive integer, we move to the left on the number line. Let's try 24 minus negative 8. Remember what we said about what negatives tell us to do? They tell us to go in the opposite direction of the operation being used. Subtraction tells us to go to the left, but the negative tells us to do the opposite, which in this case is to go right. So we'll start at 24 and move to the right 8 spaces, giving us 32. 
How about this? Negative 24 minus negative 8. Just like the last problem, we know that subtracting a negative really means to move to the right. So if we start at negative 24 and move to the right, 8, we end up at negative 16. So negative 24 minus negative 8 equals negative 16. Now, we've also discovered that when we subtract a negative integer, we move to the right on the number line. Pause the video now to try the practice problems on the PDF using a number line. Let's see how we did. Remember, when subtracting a negative integer, we move right on the number line. For the first problem, 5 minus negative 10, starting at 5 and moving to the right 10, puts us at positive 15. For the second problem, negative 3 minus negative 2, we start at negative 3 and move to the right 2, putting us at negative 1. And finally, negative 4 minus negative 6, we start at negative 4 and move to the right 6, which puts us at positive 2. Great work! Let's make some observations before we move on. Recall that adding a positive integer means we move to the right. Subtracting a positive integer means we move to the left. And the negative tells us to do the opposite. So when we added a negative integer, we ended up going to the left. And when we subtracted a negative integer, we ended up going to the right. It's not a coincidence that we see a pattern here. We've discovered two very important concepts. Subtracting a negative integer is equivalent to adding a positive integer. And adding a negative integer is equivalent to subtracting a positive integer. With this information, we can rewrite some of the problems we've done so far. Since subtracting a negative integer is the same as adding a positive integer, we could just replace the subtraction sign and the negative with a plus sign. You could think of this as two negatives making a positive. Likewise, since adding a negative integer is the same as subtracting a positive integer, we can replace the plus sign and the negative with subtraction. Let's use this new knowledge to rewrite some of the other problems we've done so far and fill in the answers we found earlier. Pause the video and complete the chart in your PDF using the new rules we've learned. How did you do? Any problem that adds a negative can be rewritten with just subtraction, and any problem that subtracts a negative can be rewritten with just addition. Great job! Now you can add and subtract negative integers using a number line. We covered a lot of important information about moving on the number line. Remember that adding a positive integer moves us right on the number line, and subtracting a positive integer moves us left on the number line. We also discovered that subtracting a negative integer is the same as adding a positive integer, and adding a negative integer is the same as subtracting a positive integer. After this video is over, you'll complete the activity in your PDF, and then you'll complete the practice game. In our next video, we're going to continue our work with negative numbers. I'll see you next time. Hey.